Hey guys, welcome to this video. So if you just bought a lot of great tech for school and are still looking for something to transport it in, or if you're looking for a great backpack in general, I've got a recommendation for you. Since today we'll be reviewing the NK City Backpack, my favorite backpack ever. Let's start by taking a look around the outside. The sides are made of a water repelling material and the front is made of a nice dark grey fabric. Although it is also available in some other colors which you can check out on the product website that I've linked below. The straps are adjustable and use the same mechanism you'll find in basically every backpack. They are well padded and have the same grey texture as the front. The part of the straps that touch your shoulders on the other hand have a different material than the front of the straps. They have this nice breathing kind of soft material which will keep you from sweating too much when you're wearing the backpack in the heat. The back of the backpack is made of the same material as the straps and make the backpack a pleasure to wear. But now that we've covered the outside, let's start looking at the different compartments. On the bottom left and right, we find a small pocket which is great for storing, for example, an external battery, a wallet, or your phone. Sadly, there is no water bottle holder on either side, which is a little disappointing. On the bottom front we find a small compartment which is perfect for storing your laptop charging cable, but you could also put your water bottle in here as an alternative. A little higher up we find a larger compartment which also reaches to the bottom, even going behind the small compartment we looked at before. We also find a few smaller compartments in which to keep a variety of smaller items like notepads, calculators and even a few places to hold your pens. Behind these smaller compartments, we find a place to fit your tablet. It fit my Microsoft Surface without a problem at all, even in its hardcover carrying case. It's pretty well padded, but sadly doesn't have this very nice soft fur type of material that you'll see in the most top compartment in a minute. Here we can see the most top compartment I mentioned before. It is large and can easily hold your on-ear headphones, PlayStation Vita, Nintendo 3DS XL, or whatever you choose to put inside. It also has the before mentioned soft fur type material, which will keep your devices from scratching up. Now let's take a look at the two main compartments, but before we do I'd like to point out the top handle, which is made of a material that feels very similar to a seatbelt and looks great. The front main compartment is nice and large and it fits a binder without problems. It has two normal compartments and two which have flexible nets, as well as a larger one which also has this type of net. There's also a larger one with a hidden compartment above the four small ones. The back main compartment is the largest one of them all. It'll fit anything the front main compartment does and more. There is also a laptop compartment which has padding all around and will keep your laptop safe when you're traveling. There is also some of the same fur type material we found in the front top compartment on one side of the laptop compartment, the side which faces your back. It's a little sad that they didn't put fur on the opposite side of the compartment as well. But since this doesn't have a large impact on the protection of the laptop, I can live with it. The laptop compartment will fit any 13 and 15 inch laptop without a problem. And even a thin 17 inch laptop like my MSI GS70 Stealth fit in the compartment, although it was a very tight squeeze. In conclusion, the backpack is great. Even though there is no bottle holder and I prefer both sides of the laptop compartment with fur on them, these two small negatives shouldn't stop you from buying this backpack. The only thing that might is the price, since at 130 US dollars this packback is definitely not cheap. But in my opinion the great design, comfort and build quality are worth the hefty price tag. Also it looks like this backpack will last me a very long time, since it's been going to school with me for the past month and still looks like I just bought it. That's it for this video, if you liked it why not let me know by leaving a thumbs up below. Also if you want to see more tech related content like this. Why not subscribe to be one of the first to be notified when my new content is ready to be watched.